When you discover a keyboard shortcut, it's actually really difficult to put it into practice and make it second nature. I think the reason is a lot of times when we watch these videos and see these keyboard shortcuts, we're not actually actively practicing them. So I'm hoping to change that in this video and I hope that you participate. So go ahead and open up a new Notion page, embed this video in that page, hit play and let's get started. Hey guys, my name is Irfan and I'm all about taking a gentle and simplified approach to productivity and habits. Now I'm only gonna cover five shortcuts and the reason for that is I don't wanna overwhelm anybody, especially trying to learn new keyboard shortcuts, it could be a lot. So even if you take two or three of these and you actually put them to practice and you memorize them and they're useful, I've done my job. At the end of this video, I will give you a nice screenshot of these five so you could embed them into your Notion workspace and use them as a reference if you ever forget. So the first keyboard shortcut is Command or Control plus left bracket. And what this does is allows you to go back to your previous page. Now I'm in my PKM, my personal knowledge management page here. And you can see at the very top, this is how Notion structures where you're located. So these, this uses what's called breadcrumbs. So I'm in my personal knowledge management. If I go back, I'm in my notes master page and I'll go back to PKM, but Notion does not have a back button. And so the only way to go back is to actually click on previous link here. But a faster, much quicker way, especially as you're going through your Notion page and if you're like me, you're always going back a lot, is to press command and left bracket. And think of left bracket as left as in back, and it'll let you quickly go back to the previous page. You can press that again, and it'll take you back to whatever previous page you're on. So I was right on this uh, stainless steel pan page, and I'll go back again, and you can see how quickly that works. It's so useful. Learn this keyboard shortcut, and it'll save you a ton of time. All right, next is something very similar, which is just being able to open up a page without leaving where you're currently at. So if you hold down the command or the control button, if you're on Windows, and you click on a page, it will actually open it up on a separate window if you're on the Notion app, or for me, I just clicked it and it's opened up a new tab. So if you hold down the command or control button and you can open up a bunch of different pages and this allows you to stay where you're at without leaving and keeping your page there. So it's basically the idea of like multiple tabs in Notion. Super easy, just remember to hold down the command or control button. Next up is command plus P and what command plus P does is opens up Notion's quick find feature. This allows you to quickly search for something in your Notion workspace, it's a universal search but you could also filter down. I have a whole dedicated video on this feature. If you wanna check that out, it's, it'll be in the link below as well as up here somewhere. But what I love about this feature, something that people, most people don't know about, is that it actually shows you the most recent pages you were just on. So it's a way to actually navigate your workspace in a really quickly, quick and fast manner. So Command P, think of it as P as in pecking, you're like pecking for a note, looking for a note. That's how I remember it. Unfortunately, you can't like remap keyboard shortcuts. It's so useful when you're looking for a page. Try to remember and put into muscle memory command or control plus P. The fourth one is command or control plus backslash. And what this does is when you click on command plus backslash, it actually opens up Notion's menu bar. And this is really helpful if you wanna get to some of your favorites uh, or get into the settings. It's just so much easier than clicking on the hamburger menu here. Sometimes it's hard to actually click on because sometimes it wants to give you the preview, sometimes it wants to give you the full, but pressing command plus backslash will let you toggle it on and off. This is awesome for someone like me who's on a laptop a lot and I need the real estate, but sometimes I wanna be able to quickly go to one of my favorites. It's great for that. Okay, and the fifth and final keyboard shortcut that I wanna show you guys has to do with formatting in Notion. So I have a page open here with two different sentences. Many of us are coming from Microsoft Word. What we'll do typically if we wanna make this into a, a bulleted list or a numbered list is we would highlight it all and then turn it into a bullet list or a numbered list. But in Notion, it uses what's called, I believe, markdown. And you can do this a lot easier in Notion and without even touching the mouse. So what I mean by that is if you put in one plus period and then hit space, you've started a list with different numbers. So if you put item one and I hit enter, item two. And this also works with bullet lists as well. It's a hyphen plus space, and now you have a bullet list. And you can go and this is a second bullet. 
So it's really easy format on the fly as you're writing a document. I think this is so awesome. And one of the first things I learned when I started using Notion was these two keyboard shortcuts. And now anytime I'm at work and I'm using Microsoft Word, I'm like, man, I really wish these intuitive shortcuts were there. Maybe you knew these, maybe you didn't, but I think these ones are really simple when you're in Notion and you wanna quickly format on the fly as you're writing. I think this is so essential in Notion and everyone should know these. So those are my five essential Notion keyboard shortcuts. I could have talked about a lot more, but again, I didn't want to overwhelm anybody. I'm hoping you can take one or two of these and actually make them into muscle memory and actually use them and be a little bit more efficient in Notion. As promised, here's a cheat sheet with all five of them. So you can go ahead and screenshot this and put into your Notion workspace if you ever forget these or wanna reference them. If you wanna watch a video of me talking more about Notion's quick find feature, you can watch the video here. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.